Just then, Hunter S. Thompson saw an opening. Through the remaining crowd of police and wounded protesters, he sprinted to the Blackstone about 60 feet away, where the cops near the entrance clubbed him back. I live here, goddammit, he screamed. I'm paying $50 a day. He was shoved into the door. He pulled out his room key and waved it overhead until finally someone let him push through into the lobby. In his room, he locked and chained his door. His eyes burned. His clothes stank with chemicals. His gut ached, but he was unharmed. He wet a cloth and held it carefully to his face to soak out the tear gas. Then he sat on the bed, his legs crossed. His entire body was shaking. He couldn't write. None of it made sense. The whole week, the police had known he was a member of the press, that the men and women they'd forced through the Haymarket window were political officials, that a number of the nonviolent young protesters worked as campaign staffers for Democratic candidates. Then that was the horrific point. Years later, looking back on this moment, he'd write, These bastards knew my position, and they wanted to beat me anyway. They were powerful enough to break anybody who even thought about getting in their way. What I learned in Chicago was that the police arm of the United States government was capable of hiring vengeful thugs to break the very rules we all thought we were operating under. The violence he just witnessed was clearly state-sanctioned, political, and it had originated within the core electoral process of the democratic system, the primaries it now threatened. In this sense, we were its authors and performers and intended audience. All along, this violence had been with us, was us, a song for America we'd been singing from the start. It was just after 9 p.m. At the Stockyards Amphitheater, the official balloting for the presidential nomination was about to begin. Thompson still had his press pass. It had been around his neck the entire time, and he planned to put it to use now for something other than an invitation to a beating. <laughs> 